Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today we're going to be covering part two of the spawners. This one's going to be a lot longer than the first video because there is a lot to cover here. This is where the fine details of spawning comes into play. Now this deals with spawners, not random spawns. That is an entirely different thing in itself, so make sure not to get those confused. So since this is such a lengthy video, let's go ahead and get started. As mentioned before, where you're going to look is where your spawner is going to be, so let's go ahead and set that up here. Create Legion S1 Legion. Okay, so first thing I want to cover is max mobs. Um, basically, this is how many mobs you can have per spawner. Uh, by default, as I mentioned in the last tutorial, it will only spawn one at a time. But if I do MMS set Legion S1 max mobs 2, then a second Legion will spawn. Now, you can set this as high as you want, but depending on the um, type of mob you're spawning, it's best to leave it anywhere from 4 to maybe 6, depending. Uh, but yeah, so you definitely don't want too many of these guys roaming around. Uh, one thing I want to, or next thing I want to cover is mobs per spawn. So, one thing we can do is set how many mobs are going to spawn per spawn period. So, we're going to go ahead and type in MMS set mobs per spawn. Two. Whoops, I forgot to set which spawner. Legion S1. There we go. Okay, so if I kill Legion now, you can see that now two of them have spawned. Again, like last time, you can make it to where uh, you can spawn as many at once as you want, but it is best to at least Keep it in a multiple of how many you have, so if you have a max mob set of four, keep it to two at a time, or four if you really want. Uh, if it's an interval of six, have it set to two or three at a time, so on and so forth. But that's basically the gist of that. Now, one thing I want to cover is leash. So leash range is quite literally what it sounds like, like a dog on a leash. This will determine how far your monster can go out before getting teleported back to the spawner. Now you can uh, you can make it really, 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 really big if you want to. Um, I don't recommend it. I think by default it's actually turned off. Uh, oops. Put that back. Yeah, by default I believe it's turned off. I don't know. One of my mobs followed me all the way out there in my last uh, video attempt, but... Let's go ahead and set it anyway, so MMS set legion S1 leash range, uh, we're going to go ahead and set it to 20. So if I go into survival here and get him to follow me, as you can see he just got teleported back, and if they follow me out to a range of 20, they will get teleported back to that gold block, or at least they should. Yep, there he goes. Okay, he was making me panic for a moment there. So one thing I want to show you guys too is by default whenever they get leashed they will heal. I will damage them down a little bit to show you what I am talking about. So as you can see I got them following me here. Their health is at 62 and 63. They come out far enough. Boom they teleport back and suddenly they are not back at their health. Okay so I guess it's set to false for now but for whatever reason it's not uh, for whatever reason they heal, there's another thing you can set here, which is going to be MMS set Legion S1 heal on leash true or false if you don't want them to, of course. So he, this one's at 28 and 46. So now if they get pulled, you can see they're back at full health yet again. Um, as mentioned, this is something, I, I guess it's set to false by default, so if you don't want that, then you don't even have to bother setting it. Now I'm going to go into creative so I don't die here, and I want to show you guys a few more simple mechanics. Uh, another easy mechanic, uh, show flames. It literally just shows flames around the spawner, as if you found a cage spawner. So, S set legion S1 show flames true. And there they are, poof. Just like a normal cage spawner. Now there's a few other things that I won't be covering in this, like mob level, um, 
groups, etc. Because those get really, really complicated, and I haven't even fully figured them out yet. I know what mob level does, but I don't know how mob level affects the mob uh, itself entirely just yet. But I will get that covered in a later tutorial. Now there's just a couple more things that I want to show you, and that's basically what I'm going to show you right here. Cool down, warm up, actually that's it, yeah, cool down and warm up, because use timer doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. Well, actually, maybe it does, but I'm going to go ahead and assume it's set to false. Well, we're going to set that in. Set Legion S1 use timer false. I believe that means it'll set it on a tick, like how these guys are using red particles every 20 ticks. Uh, it'll just keep going regardless of what your warm up and cooldown is. So, what we're gonna do is. Uh, MMM kill. Actually, MMS set Legion S1 max mobs 1 and mobs per spawn. What? Yep, okay. So let me kill Legion here. Now the reason this is important to show you is because there's a couple of things for me to cover. Cooldown is basically going to be how long it takes for a mob to spawn if you come within activation range. Which I don't remember if I covered that, but if I didn't, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Set Legion S1 activation range. We're going to go ahead and set it to 10. We're going to keep it nice and low, just for the sake, the sake of showing you what cooldown does. So, the activation range is going to be roughly where that stone break and stone slab are. So if I come within a radius, it should eventually spawn legion. Okay, so uh, apparently use timer. Keep use timer on. MMS set legion S1 use timer true okay so i guess the point of use timer yep there he is he's returned so i guess the point of use timer is for uh if you are manually activating them that's actually very helpful to know for dungeons legion okay so we're out of the activation range um if i were to wait like 10 or more seconds nothing would spawn because i'm outside of the 10 radius but if i walk inside It should give it about 10 seconds, give or take, and he will spawn. Now, that's going to be a lot different from a different thing that I'm going to show, uh, show you, which is going to be warm-up. As you can see, another one spawned instantly. In most cases, you don't want that. So what we're going to set is the warm-up. And then as set, Legion, S1, warm-up. We're going to give that 10 seconds too. So after killing this legion, it should take 10 seconds for another one to spawn. One thing I forgot to mention is, uh, in your config, this is going to be the normal message for uh, receiving currency and killing mobs. Make sure you switch that back to mob.name, because for some reason caster.name is still broken. Uh, in the manual they say that this is what it is, but they are entirely wrong and will refuse to admit it. So make sure you switch this back to mob.name. But as you can see though, back to the tutorial, <laughs> mini rant over, I apologize. Um, after 10 seconds of killing him, another will spawn, as long as we are within the activation range. So if we were to walk outside of it, um, he would not spawn. You can tell if we're in the activation range because of the flames there. 10 seconds pass, he is back. Um, realistically, that's that's basically how you set up spawners. Uh, so I don't really have anything else to cover for you. The other mechanics I will get around to and make a part 3 for eventually, as they are way too complicated and I currently don't have the time in real life to do so. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today, so if you like this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below if there's anything you would like to have covered. Oh, and also you can only have one mob type per spawner. Sorry, forgot to mention that. Uh, you can only, you cannot set this to spawn like a sheep and a wolf, for example, you'll only get one or the other. Anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out on my Discord. I created a new 
Discord for my channel for all my Mythic Mobs uh, community members to help each other and ask questions, as well as share their own content, resources, sell it, um, buy it, etc. Whatever you want to do. I created a thing just for you, so make sure to check out the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with in the future.